Hello and welcome, sports fans, to Rick's Cards. This is a um, video request from uh, Johnny Serena, Serino, and he wanted to know what cards we actually got first and how we got started. Well, I got started collecting baseball cards back when I was old enough to go to the store and cash in some pop bottles and buy a pack of baseball cards. It's back when I was about eight years old and uh, been collecting ever since. I have every Topps complete set since 1978 to the present. I collected every set every year. And uh, basically I'm collecting all this for my grandsons, which I have three and one on the way, which will be due in January. So uh, shout out to them. <laughs> I've been coaching and playing, umpiring, and uh, all my life. And basically my whole life has been baseball. Raising uh, three kids, a uh, daughter the oldest, and two sons. They all played ball. My um, oldest son played baseball in Europe. He was a left-handed pitcher. And very proud of him. His son now is playing t-ball. And I get to go out and watch him and start it all over again. <laughs> so anyway, that's, uh, that's me. And this is my room. Um, I'll give you a little... Uh, Tour de France here of uh, where I'm working at. I've been collecting stuff since baseball stuff all my life, really. And um, if I usually collect unique stuff and uh, stuff that uh, appeals to me. Uh, you know, I'm a St. Louis Cardinal fan, and that is an autograph base of Lou Brock. And the uh, uh, I'm not quite sure how big that picture is, but it's a pretty big one. And uh, I got most of my autographs back in 1989 from uh, players that uh, were at a big show at the Shrine Auditorium in L.A. And that's where I got to meet uh, an all-time St. Louis Cardinal, where I met Bob Gibson there, too, Lou Brock, who's on first, and the great Stan Musial, who autographed that jersey for me. And I don't know if you can see it, but that's the picture of me with him. So, um, yeah, and I got quite a few things autographed by him at that show, and basically everybody. At the time, that was the five-run home run ball uh, display I have from uh, Mickey Mantles, Ted Williams, anybody that was alive in 1989. The only ones that weren't were Babe Ruth, Mel Ott, and, uh, um, oh, geez, who's the other one? I can't see it from here, <laughs> Millot, Lou Brock, oh, uh, Jimmy Fox. Uh, yeah, that's all of them. The entire 500 home club run club from 1989. That's who the home run was. Uh, what are the home run, 500 home run men at that time? And this is my all-time favorite autograph picture. That is autographed by Stan Musial, Ted Williams, and Mickey Mantle. All three of them I got at that show. Starting to fade a little bit, but yeah. That's a Nolan Ryan autograph. Ricky Henderson. Pete Rose. Actually, Steve Garvey signed it too, but his his signature's fading for some reason. Uh, my daughter just recently got that for me. Saw Pete Rose here at Caesars Palace and had him... Um, Write that, Rick, a great fan, Pete Rose, and he listed his hits. And more Stan Musial. I mean, yeah. And I've got boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff I can't even get in this room, let alone baseball cards. That is my son, by the way, him in Belgium. Yeah, as you can see, my closet a little messy there. That's my autographed bats. I got uh, Rose, Willie Mays, Hank Aaron, Lou Brock, Stan Mutual, uh, Johnny Bench, and I'm sure there's some that I'm forgetting. That's uh, something I'm pretty proud of. Those are four commissioners of baseball on autographed baseballs. I've got uh, uh, Bud Selig. Robert Manfred, 
Faye Vincent, and uh, Peter Ubroff. So yeah, that is my collection. And that is, like I say, how I got started. There's my first cards, like I say, Al Kaline, Ray Washburn, Buck Walter, that's uh, John Mazalak, and Bill DeWitt III, owner of the Cardinals. So that's my video for Mr. Johnny. I hope you enjoyed it. And a reminder, tomorrow we'll be giving away our 50 subscriber contest awards. Until then, always hustle. You never know who is watching. Bye.